Defense Central attended the 13th edition of the biennial Latin America Aerospace and Defense and Security Trade Show, which took place in Rio de Janeiro, Brazil, from April 11 to April 14, 2023. Following a four-year hiatus caused by the global pandemic, LOG returned with a record-breaking number of exhibitors, including industry giants from the Americas, Europe, the Middle East, and Asia. With an impressive turnout of 45,000 visitors and 160 official delegations from across the world, the event positioned itself as a leading platform to discover cutting-edge technology and solutions in the defense and security industry. In this video, we'll provide an exclusive look at some of the most innovative products and services showcased this year, as well as significant partnerships and deals announced at the event. Let's dive in. As the host country, Brazil took center stage at this year's LOD event, with one of its pioneering aviation companies, Embraer, making several exciting announcements. One of their announcements was their plan to develop an A29N Super Tucano in NATO configuration which will have updated features including a new data link and single pilot operation. The A-29N Super Tucano is a versatile turboprop aircraft used for light attack, armed reconnaissance, and advanced training missions. It has been selected by over 15 air forces worldwide, including the U.S. Air Force. The aircraft's rugged design enables it to operate from unpaved runways and remote airfields with little support, making it highly available and deployed at low cost. As part of their portfolio, Embraer also showcased the C-390 Millennium Military Transport Aircraft. With a load capacity of 26 tons, the C-390 can be configured for various operations, including troop and cargo transport, humanitarian aid, and air-to-air -air refueling. The C-390 aircraft has already secured several export customers, including Portugal, Hungary, and the Netherlands. During LOD 2023, Austrian officials reportedly held talks with Embraer on the potential purchase of four or five C-390 aircraft. Embraer and Saab, a Swedish defense company, also announced their partnership to promote the C-390 Millennium aircraft as the top choice for the Swedish Air Force's tactical airlift requirements, including exploring the integration of Saab's equipment and systems on the C-390 in the future. Embraer and Saab will also expand their collaboration on the Grip N fighter aircraft to secure new business opportunities and increase Embraer's involvement in future contracts. This collaboration builds on the existing Brazilian Grip N program, which began in 2014, when Saab signed a contract to supply the Brazilian Air Force with 36 Grip N aircraft, along with logistical support, weapons, simulators, and training. The program involves extensive technology transfer, with the aim of driving the development of Brazil's defense industry through local companies. The Grip N fighter has a maximum takeoff weight of 16,500 kg, a top speed of Mach 2, and a combat radius of over 800 km, with over 271 aircraft currently in service worldwide. Another exciting development that emerged from this year's edition of LOT is the cooperation agreement signed between Exmo Bots a drone manufacturer based in Brazil, and the European missile maker MBDA, to develop an armed unmanned aerial vehicle. The companies plan to collaborate on designing and integrating MBDA's missile systems onto Exmo Bot's drones, creating a new capability for military operations in Brazil and beyond. As part of the American pavilion, Sikorsky, a subsidiary of Lockheed Martin, celebrated their 100th anniversary at this year's edition of LOD. The company honored the Brazilian Armed Forces, who have been a key partner for Sikorsky in the region, with a special ceremony that included the display of their iconic Black Hawk helicopter. The event was a testament to Sikorsky's long-standing presence in the region and their dedication to building lasting partnerships with their customers. Leonardo, a leading Italian defense company, showcased a diverse range of aerospace and defense technologies at LOD 2023. Among the cutting-edge solutions on display were the M346 fighter attack and the AW159 Wildcat helicopter. The latter, designed for naval environments, boasts capabilities for anti-submarine warfare, including the ability to be equipped with torpedoes, missiles, and guns. Leonardo also exhibited several unmanned technologies, such as the AW Hero and the Falco Explorer. The company's cybersecurity products and services were also presented, underscoring Leonardo's commitment to providing comprehensive solutions to meet the evolving needs of the Brazilian Armed Forces and other Latin American customers.
Edge, UAE's leading defense conglomerate, made its debut at LOD this year and presented a diverse portfolio of about 50 products. The group was present with 10 of its companies, showcasing autonomous air and land systems, naval systems, precision-guided munitions, small arms, and electronic warfare solutions. Some of their showcased products included the Hunter Soldier Portable UAV, the QX series of loitering munitions, the multi-range Thunder and Desert Sting munitions, and the Sky Knight Air Defense Missile System, among others. During the exhibition, it was announced that Edge had signed an agreement with the Brazilian Navy to collaborate on the co-creation of a long-range anti-ship missile and a supersonic missile. The collaboration will allow both sides to leverage their expertise in missiles and other defense technologies to build partnerships, develop national defense capabilities, and expand their global footprint through exports. Israel also had a significant presence at this year's edition of LOD, showcasing its advanced defense technologies and solutions. The country's pavilion was represented by various Israeli defense companies, including Israel Aerospace Industries, which demonstrated its advanced radar and missile systems. IAI also displayed their Heron UAV, which has been used by numerous countries for surveillance and reconnaissance missions. The Camerotech Xaver radar system, which is capable of detecting human presence in concealed spaces, also drew significant interest from attendees at the event. If you haven't already, you can watch our full review of this system in the video linked below. The Turkish Pavilion at LOD 2023 was one of the largest country pavilions. Turkish Aerospace exhibited its expertise in aerospace and defense technologies, while STM presented its naval platforms, including the Milgem 1-class frigate and the STM 500, a small-sized submarine designed with national engineering skills. STM also exhibited some of their aerial platforms, such as their combat-proven rotary wing loitering munition system cargo, the fixed-wing El Pagu, and the multi-rotor UAV for tactical surveillance and reconnaissance, Togan. Aselsan presented its latest electronic defense systems, such as jamming systems and border surveillance technologies. India's presence at LOD 2023 was also notable, with a strong showing from various companies and organizations. Hindustan Aeronautics, a state-owned aerospace and defense company, showcased their expertise in aircraft, helicopter, and engine design. The versatile and highly accurate BrahMos missile, developed jointly by India and Russia, has attracted the attention of the Chief of Staff of the Algerian National People's Army. So, what do you think? Let us know in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel if you'd like to see more live coverage of global defense exhibitions in the future.